Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. And welcome to Rocket Right. We are going to do a deep dive into dining. You know, one of the things that Kay and I really enjoy as friends and with our family is to discover new places to really enjoy. Not just because the food is good, but because the atmosphere, the people, the entire environment and vibe is good. And so we wanted to bring you to Spoke and Hub. It is the newest restaurant from City Group Hospitality and we love it. So we're starting off with our friend Alan Walter. Thank you so much for being our guest. Thank and, you for coming in. And we are actually in my favorite bar in Baton Rouge. And I do hesitate to say well, that. it's a speakeasy. So you might, Betsy mm. really doesn't want anyone to find out about <laughs> her. I'm just saying. But I'm we are going to let the secret out because it is yeah. so I'm great. a little selfish that I don't want it to get too crowded, but I think I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to come in and experience what we have experienced with Alan and the drinks that he makes. And then after we speak with Alan and Kelly McAnally, we're gonna go and speak with Chef Elizabeth McKinley, and she just does a phenomenal job. We're also gonna meet the other people that are behind this entirely different concept. This is uh, located on Government Street, the old Bistro Byron's. Mm -hmm. But first, we're gonna start where everyone should start for dinner, or maybe a little gathering, and that's in the bar. And we're in the Breaks Bar, and we are gonna find out a little bit more about the delicious concoctions that you make. And the first time that we met, I was so wowed when I came in because you have really taken your personality and Stephen Hightower and the management of City, Hospi City Group Hospitality has let you bring you into it. And that's what I love so much about it. So tell us how you came up with the concept and a little bit about your background to make this place so incredibly fabulous. Oh, thank you, Betsy. Um, well, when I, when I got the, uh, the call from Jeff and Steven uh, about uh, doing this little place, we only had a few weeks to go before it was time to open. So there wasn't a lot, a lot of forethought. Uh, so I naturally began to uh, gather up things and, and remove things from storage that might be interesting. And, and, then, and then to think about the concept of the restaurant that Jeff uh, created and to do something that would at least be uh, correlative to it. Yes. And I'm not going to say they weren't a little nervous when I piled up all these things on the bar freshly from New Orleans and they weren't sorted out at all. I think it, was it looked like I had maybe just uh, <laughs> robbed my grandmother uh, of everything she owned. But that's what made me feel so comfortable is you have you have milk glass, you have depression glass, you have big decanters, mm -hmm. you have brilliant cut glass, you have a variety of candle holders that are used in a different way. You have an amazing song playlist that rocks and every space feels very intimate and private for a small conversation or a little bit larger group, but you just feel at home. You really, I, I really felt mm -hmm. at home the first time I, I was like, this is so well, cool. It's a very unique vibe, but nothing then like the it. cocktails are very unique too. Yeah. So let's talk about some of your specialty cocktails because people would be coming down here to have a little drink. Yeah, and I'd like to show you a few of them okay, too. Okay, we, we would love, we would love for you to show us a few of and those. We'll, we'll taste them more if you need us to. You on them. <laughs> yes, we would love to be your taste testers if uh, we haven't already tasted them. Well, first and foremost, we want to be a neighborhood bar. We just want to be uh, a place that creates a little world apart from the world, thus the lack of sunlight. Yes. I love sunlight. 
it, but this it's little, little space darker, is ruled by candlelight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the cocktails uh, are sort of free roaming over our environment. Whatever Kelly and I find or forage that we want to use in the cocktails and um, inner city foraging too, such as the Asian market uh, where we got a couple of neat things the other day yeah. and uh, whatever's fresh at the farmer's market. So I think the first um, cocktail we wanted to show you is has been one of the most popular on the list. Okay. Um, it uses bourbon, but it also uses lemongrass and herbs. It's a little bit of a uh, southern answer to a bourbon cocktail. Okay. So it's pretty refreshing even on a day where the temperature might climb to 80. Mm -hmm. I love that you make a lot of, you juice a lot of fruits, you make some additional elixirs, some different herb infused, mm -hmm. what would you say? The rose water and different um, things. You, you just do these little extra touches that is so beyond what you typically get at most places. Well, and the important thing to me about that is just that that's where I bring us into the picture. Yes. You know, we're using these spirits that might come from Spain, from Italy, um, all over the world, but the syrups and elixirs are usually a way of infusing something that grows right near us mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. into the drink mm -hmm. and making it more personal. Right. And that's the only reason, to me, that justifies the trouble. And you also don't feel that a cocktail needs to be shown or served um, in a traditional glass. Well, cocktails are that. supposed to be fun, so yeah. we play mm -hmm. we play with people, and people um, turn into kids anyway. <laughs> drink. Yes, after, after a few, <laughs> just a bunch of little kids in here, huh? Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. We, so it, it's kind of like Montessori. Yeah, it's kind of like Montessori. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, some of the things when people come in, like there is a, a drink that you made the first time that I came in, that was so delicious. And I said, I would like something that is a little different, a little unusual. I'd like it to have a little vodka, but I love a cucumber mint martini. And you said, I think I've got just what you need. I, I was working on something and you did. And so tell us a little bit about that. Well, I looked into your eyes and I uh, <laughs> he saw, alcohol. saw your need. Swirling. <laughs> The and, green, uh, the green gave you <laughs> And I thought, well, and that's, Kelly and I are here to see what direction people want to go, not mm -hmm. just show what we right. can do. Right, um, I had that day honeydew, fresh honeydew juice. Yeah. I had um, a rose petal syrup that I knew was, was mm -hmm. nice, and um, fresh cucumber, vodka. What else, maybe a little lime. A little more unusual A sugar vodka. with mint. So y'all really and have a, a curated, you have a very unusual mix of uh, more rare vodkas, bourbons, gins, and then you also have wines. Depending, like it's not extensive. Um, you know, our bourbon selection is, is minimal, but well chosen. Same with the wines. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we want to see a couple of those drinks. Um, and see how bartender, bartender, <laughs> hark to the table. I, I, I think hear him he's approaching. Made us a cocktail. <laughs> we can hear it swirling. I can almost taste it from here. How about you, Bit? Yes. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy a little taste of different ones just to see. And I, sit, I hear it. <laughs> the sound of fantastic cocktails being made. <laughs> Well, I, I, think I love that, the sound of a shaker there. Yes. What do you think? I think so too. Um, one of the things that really shocked me is that you sometimes serve drinks in a gravy boat, and a lot what? of people that yes, and a lot of people don't know what they're going to do with that gravy that. boat anyway because people don't really <laughs> enjoy gravy and they don't always sit down to full blown meals with all of your china and everything like they used to. So you know, if anybody has some random gravy boats. And what would happen at Thanksgiving if you drank out of the gravy boat? I know. You'd be sent to your room. You'd be sent to <laughs> <laughs> And might not get invited back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try that. I, yes. But you're going to have to have more than one gravy boat if you're right. going to serve your drinks out of gravy boats. I have about 12. Okay. But All it right. happened organically. I was in a, a store and there was one for sale and I held it up to my mouth and I was like, well, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of works nicely drinking, <laughs> drinking right out of this. Oh my goodness, so from there, I it was think just... we have uh, the drink coming. What is this one? Thank you. 
Lovely. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. What is that one? The bourbon lemongrass cocktail. Mm, um, yes, that okay, you told I think us you should try that. I should try that. Should try that. Betsy's letting me go first, y'all. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Mm. I love the smell. Oh, that is so herbs. good. When you're taking the sip, and y'all do such a great right. job with your display. Well, you thank know, you. With your presentation, you really And do. often we shake with herbs. So okay. with, with the ice pummeling the herbs, mm -hmm. that causes the aroma to... Well, yeah. you know, I know we only have about a minute left, and I know you have a whole list of others. What are some other cocktails that are features that if somebody walks in here, you go, you might want to think about this one? We have a new one called the derailleur. Uh, the, the, just, derail just the derail or the derailleur? Derailleur, as in um, the part of the bicycle. Yes. Um, that, that rules the gears. Okay. Um, it has a secret ingredient, but also uh, cachaca and grapefruit and mint and um, a couple of other okay. things. Okay. Couple uh, other surprises. That, that would be a brand yeah. new surprise. So make surprise. sure and ask for the derailleur and this is wonderful and this is the bourbon lemongrass mm -hmm. and uh, man y'all make sure that before you dine you hop into the derailleur and uh, uh, the in breaks, the speakeasy in the, the breaks, breaks bar, bar and behind spoke and hub mm -hmm. and we're going to be right back and we're going to talk more delicious good times so There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. The use of opioids and addiction to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana, and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regard to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014, with a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser of the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best. 
sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hello, in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes, and we're continuing our deep dive into dining at the brand new Spoke and Hove restaurant in Mid City, Baton Rouge. And we have brought our cocktails over from the Breaks Bar. And actually, if you remember Alan Water, the mixologist from out there, he's got another concoction for us that he's bringing in, and it is their specialty drink called the derailer. Bets, do you remember what is in this? Uh, besides that, it's in a gravy boat. Okay. How crazy! We are having the very first derailer, and this drink is a very unique combination of cassava, grapefruit, mint. It's got a secret ingredient, and if you don't know what cassava is, it is a Brazilian style rum, but this particular rum didn't come from Brazil, it came right from right here in Louisiana at Three Rolls Distillery, downtown Baton Rouge. So we're so mm. glad that City Group Hospitality Love's and Allen local. and the Breaks Bar, all local. So okay. that is wonderful. I'm, I'm gonna take a sip out of this gravy boat right here. All right, Bets, here's yeah, your I'm side. Gonna have to have oh my gosh. Too. That is amazing. We're gonna, we're gonna learn a few new things I today. I didn't know that there could be so many uses for our gravy boat, oh which gosh. I've had like zero uses, and so now I can't wait to break this out. I'm just gonna need more of them. This is here's amazing. Your granny's gravy but, boat. Hey, we're going from drinks to desserts because yes. that's my two favorite things. And so, Betsy, introduce so, our next chef. So I'm like Vanna, right? I here. actually got to meet this very talented chef at the St. Francisville Food and Wine Festival. So we're really, really glad that you could join us. You actually are Chef Elizabeth McKinley. You have a long history with City Group Hospitality. I do. So, and you make some delicious things, and I got to have a little taste out in St. Francisville, but you really love doing cakes and pies. I do, it is, it's a well, lot. Tell us about your history here. You've, you've been with City Group Hospitality a long time. I have. I've been with the company since their second year in business. Wow. That's a long time. It is. Yeah. Yes. And so, so you, you help more really these good concepts. Cake pies, I'm yeah. just saying. I think I do. Yes. And they must because they yeah, keep absolutely. Around. They've kept you around for quite a while. Yeah. So yeah. I mean tell that's us, amazing. Tell us a little bit about the cakes that are the specialties, the pies, and I think um, I think you have a couple of those for us, but also. Um, what made you kind of focus on that a little bit more where people could actually kind of come and pick them up? So when we opened and we had this bar that we were trying to figure out what to do with and find a concept that would really fit the diner aspect and the family atmosphere that we were trying to achieve here, I just, you know, growing up you eat cake and you have pie. That's your two most common desserts in a yes. household. Mm -hmm. And so why not make cake and pie and just have it change every week to where yeah keep it fresh, yeah. kind of, you know, take it away and then bring it back later on for those to get it and buy it by the slice or you could even buy a whole one because not Absolutely. everybody wants to bake their own pie. And if you see the, the icon back here, it says now showing is blueberry pie and tomboy cake and I think we're fixing to be to serve the tomboy cake. So you might wow, ask, that is what beautiful. is I've never seen this. a Tomboy cake. Tell us, Elizabeth. So, that tomboy is cake. Oh my gosh, well, one thing is beautiful. <laughs> that and is. I, I think it looks like it has some chocolate in it, which I'm always for. And Kelly McDevitt is who just brought us that beautiful cake, but she forgot our forks. What the heck? Oh, that's because we should just dive in. I mean, like, you just. Those pictures it looks like one of those you want to just so you know, tell us up. about this because it has an unusual texture it's not really what I expected tell me a little bit about how you make that and, and what it's made of okay so tomboy cake is a classic yellow cake with chocolate frosting we make all of our ingredients in-house so it is not a box mix so it will have a different texture than what a lot of people are used to because it is a homemade scratch cake yes. they are still going to be very fluffy and moist and our buttercream, we make a chocolate buttercream with fresh ganache and dark chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. and so it's it's not that sugary sweet that makes you think you need to go to the dentist, but it, it'll hit the spot. It'll it'll cut that sweet tooth craving. That sounds great. And while you were talking, Kelly actually brought us out the blueberry pie. And y'all can't see, 
see it actually. We've actually tasted uh, the blueberry yes, we pie. Had this last okay. night. It, it was, was so delicious. amazing. Full of blueberries. Well, we didn't just um, taste it. We had a whole piece. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We did. Okay, we didn't just taste it. Yeah. You know. So for the pies, I kind of overstuffed them. I hate an empty pie. When you get yes. the pie shell that's that, and then the, the filling is only. Yes. So we fill our pies all the way up. That's like you said, tons of blueberries. Mm -hmm. And it's just plain, simple, highlight the ingredients. We don't, we can play sometimes, but when we have classics like blueberry pie, don't mess with it. Just good yes. blueberries, that's all you need. So with your crust, do you do a homemade crust? Because that looks very homemade. No. No. You do the you do the crust in, in a in a large amount and then divide it up by your pies. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful you make crust. It easy when you're making this many. Well, you know, honestly, Definitely. it's a beautiful crust, and to me, a good crust makes a good pie. But yeah. tell us about the fruits. Do you do just blueberry? Or do you have other fruit pies as well? So each week is different. Right now, we're doing blueberry. We have ran apple in the past. Uh, next week, I'm going to be doing a peach pretzel pie, which is a favorite of mine. Ooh, that sounds peach awesome. pretzel pie. It's a pretzel pie. crust. Really? I don't think I've ever had that. It's very good. Yeah. So, I'm very partial to it. Wow. So what are some of your other favorite desserts that you do uh, in the cake uh, front? And I noticed on the menu, now sometimes they put your cakes and pies in milkshakes. Yes. So That's we have, crazy. <laughs> I didn't have that yet. So but. we have a soft serve machine, and why not? So you get why some not? vanilla yeah. cake and chocolate buttercream mixed in with your ice cream, or you can get a piece of blueberry pie mixed into your milkshake. That's I mean, who would have want that? That's better than a scoop of ice cream on top of it. It huh? is. We sell a lot of them. I think when you pull the numbers, it's almost they're like right underneath the sales of cake and pie themselves. So. People like them. They've responded very well to them. You know, people are so busy. They just don't have as much time, or maybe mm -hmm. they don't have the talent to actually make homemade, from scratch, cakes and pies. And so you can cheat a little bit if you come and order one. Exactly. And you can take it to go. And I think that is so great yeah, going into I, the spring and all the different events yeah. that people For are your event, you just say, I made this, and we won't give you, you any totally credit. You can totally give No, they but, can take all the credit and yeah. pull it out the box and say, look <laughs> what I made. You just pull it out the box and go. <laughs> Throw a couple pans this, this in the sink. Me. Yep. Yes, I did it. <laughs> yes, of course. But, so what are some of your favorite cakes? Uh, I love chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, chocolate icing. Like, I'm a chocolate kill me person with the chocolate. as well. Yeah. 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 So, um, so every week it's different. Mm -hmm. You can come in, you can get that as your dessert when you're dining here. Or you can get a whole cake or pie and take it and play like you made it yourself. Absolutely. Right? Just put so, it on a glass pan. <laughs> I know, I know. So I know, so you're the executive chef here. So you do a lot more than pies. And we don't have a whole lot more time left, but I really want to talk about your brunches here. Okay. Yes. Because Let's talk about brunches. I, I okay. came to brunch here and literally there were so many things that I wanted to order that I really couldn't even hardly figure out what I wanted you need to, to order. You to bring a group to brunch because it just passed, do oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta, gotta do Everybody that. Everybody can get a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. so yes. what, uh, talk about brunch. It's on Saturdays and Sundays, Correct. which I absolutely love, but y'all start actually earlier than most places for brunch. When we decided to do brunch, I did not want to just open at 11 because most of the time I go out to eat before that and I'm very frustrated because nobody's open that early. So I wanted to hit the earlier crowd. So we open at eight o'clock. That's, on Saturday that's and Sunday. That's amazing. So if you want to go early, you open at 8 and you continue till what time? 3 o'clock. Till 3 o'clock. So still for those late risers, you can get brunch. Yep. And what are some of your favorite things off of that brunch menu? I, I want to hear. I am very passionate about our brunch menu. It is one of my favorites. We have our oyster fried Benedict, which has always been something I've loved to eat anywhere I go. We have chicken fried biscuits with house-made country gravy that we make with bacon fat. So mm. it's very much like my grandma used to make. Okay. Homemade scratch biscuits, scratch pastries. Everything is, is made in-house and it's a labor of love. That's you, awesome because you, you can get, recipe. you know she's great at desserts. Yes. And you, ha you can get that pastry basket, which I did, which varies depending on, you know, what you're gonna have. Um, each time you come in, but you can't go wrong right. with that. And yes, as an appetizer, it is I'm just saying. Yes, that's as what an I appetizer. Didn't know. Are these family recipes? A lot of them are family recipes. Was it your grandmother, your mother? Who was it that inspired you to want to become a chef? My grandmother. And so, did you spend a lot of time? And her, she would tell you, you know, 
like my grandmother measured things in her hand. Yep. You know, it was never really a recipe. It was you just sort of just it doing it. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, I'm really glad that you've decided to raise the level of uh, of pies and cakes in Baton Rouge, and also that you put so much love and family history into that, and it makes everybody, the experience is better. Yeah. I think it is. I think the experience is much better. Thank you. Well, we have Chef Elizabeth McKinley with us at Spoken Hub. You have got to come enjoy the family style dining here. You can come by yourself, but I encourage you to bring more people. Um, there's plenty of seating. It's a great concept. And we just look forward to you enjoying the menu and then letting us know what you think about that. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We yeah. appreciate that. Okay. So we don't have much time left. So if you're coming to dine for brunch, tell us your pick. Your favorite. Your favorite. I know. It's hard to pick a favorite, baby. <laughs> we only have 10 seconds. Quickly, uh, you're on the clock. Kelly. Chicken fried biscuit. Chicken fried chicken biscuits. Y'all heard it here and stay with us for more at Spoke and Hub. My biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. Kay Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local language. Rocket Ripe Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser of the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014. With a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kate Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kate Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. Rocket Right. I am Hurricane Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K. Solar, 
and we are at Spoken Hub in Mid mm -hmm. City on Government Street. This is such a beautiful renovation. And so we're here and we're speaking with the general manager, Matt Harriman. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank y'all for coming by. What a great job you have done. Well, it's, it's been a team effort, definitely. It's, it's been a, a tremendous amount of effort and focus, but everyone has been so wonderful to work with from the beginning. And I'm just glad that we are doing well so far. Well, you know, sometimes you have to wait a little bit to get a table, but it goes pretty quickly. Everybody is very professional in the way that they greet you and the way that they serve you. And I've had some great experiences here. I've really, um, I've really enjoyed coming in and trying different things because it's a farmhouse feel, but I'd say a little more eclectic than yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, because there's such unique things on the menu items, and we're gonna you know talk about that in a little bit but i love the fact that you have a great indoor space for yes. folks to dining but you also have great outdoor spaces yes. for folks on the patio with this beautiful weather to be able to hang and you can bring your dog to dine with you if you're dining yes. outside which That's i love to do because my ori has to go to dinner with us and um it's great yes. you know yeah, and it's great for folks who are like walking they're on the bike trail they stop off it's really just that neighborhood feel and hey, look at our friend kelly mcdevitt yeah, hooking us up. some <laughs> dining specialties here and wow. we're going to have to tell us all about like those two oh. of my very favorite yes I okay i'm recently... gonna say betsy and my husband ate this last night so talk about so, that one this is our country fried brisket um i've had several people describe it as a perfect bite of food it so is. far it's it a, definitely a winner on the menu. Um, so it's a really generous portion of our brisket. We braise here in house. And then we have some handmade potato pierogies, which are just like little, you know, Central Eastern European dumplings yes. with this really beautiful jus and some sauteed leeks and asparagus on top. It's just like, what's not to love? It, it is amazing. If you I, love I had a taste of it, it last night. Don't, Betsy don't had a this. whole bowl of it. I'm just I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. It was, and it I'm was, not ashamed. I know. I'm not I know. ashamed that it all was, was delicious. It was great, and I had the salmon dish, which you know I was trying to be all healthy and stuff, but so good. Uh, that, Talk that about that one. Glaze. I could put it on everything for the rest of my life and be totally content with that. I know. It's, it was, whatever it, they're it was putting just in there, the best. It's and, and it was over. A, was that grits? Yeah, it's kind it's of, like a polenta almost, a, a polenta. and then the, the fried okra. And, oh, really, the fried really whole fried okra, just whole lightly fried breaded. Okra. Not overcooked, not limp, oh, just, mm -hmm. just delicious and crispy. Really crispy on the so, outside. So, yeah. so, so good. But y'all are known for something special called a crawfle. So tell us, yes. tell all the folks out there, what is a crawfle? Yeah, so just saying, this is we have crawfle land. several of our sandwiches, we use that as kind of like the bun. But for our brunch menu, we also have, this is the sweet version. Right, this is the, the sweet, sweet version. And the savory version. It's essentially a raw croissant dough that we cook on a waffle iron. So the outside has this really nice crispy waffle texture and the inside's flaky and a little chewy, kind of like a croissant. Um, it's been, I think so the good. first time I've ever come across something like that. I've never but heard it's, that I think you're right. So this is the sweet one, which has yes. strawberries and it tell us about everything else. Mascarpone cheese, some fresh macerated strawberries, a little bit of fresh basil, and then like a balsamic vinegar gastrite to kind of bring some acidity. Yeah. It's it really, amazing. really nice. We've mentioned that for the brunch menu. I've also had the savory one, which yes. has avocado on it. Talk about oh, that so one. The, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one is the other end of the spectrum. We have some guacamole, some sunny side up eggs, and then we make this uh, really awesome everything bagel seasoning crunchy mix that we just kind of sprinkle over the top. It is so good. Very but good. But if you're looking for sandwiches too, you have yes. an Italiano, you have all kinds of sandwiches that have this, like you said, as the bun, mm -hmm. the crawl. Yeah. It's not open face like, like the brunch items are. Right. Talk We're, about some of the special sandwiches so, with it. There are a few that I can't seem to bring myself to order something different. But uh, <laughs> the BR hot a... chicken crawfle is okay. amazing. What is that? I've not seen it's, that. It's an unmanageably big fried chicken sandwich with this really nice like homemade hot sauce and some uh, pickles sauce. that they make in the kitchen as well. Um, just that on the crawfle is like, you know, 
comfort food. Yeah. Right. That one and the other one that I'm kind of obsessed with is the uh, the Reuben. Uh, okay. We make the the corned beef here. We make the Thousand Island here. We make the sauerkraut here. Um, it's all slow cooking, but you know some of those diner standards that you yeah. you always go looking for. Um, I don't. It's it's a big, messy, delicious, awesome sandwich. That sounds amazing. And my my husband always loves the Italianos anywhere, mm -hmm. and has gotten it several times. And that's amazing. And then I think you also do a meatball one. Oh, uh, the yeah, meatloaf Which with says, uh, meat the loaf. Steens cane syrup tomato glaze. That oh one's my amazing. Oh my gosh, well. that sounds amazing. Yeah. It's, and for you, folks you on the light things side, nobody would ever put together. It's no. just such an eclectic mix. It's beautiful. It's it's the, the beauty delicious. of being a diner is because you got a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. and with you know some really capable chefs back there, kind of guiding where that diner can go. Well, you, it's it, going to be. It's very unique. Yeah. It's not your you know basic diner food. And what know? diners are there really in Baton Rouge? There's not really a diner like this where you can get this kind of mixture and no, variety. No, it, it, it's a great variety of stuff. Oh, for and sure. And very unique, even even if you, you, you say a diner, but it's very unique yeah, it's, food. It's like, what if you gave the keys to a diner to a bunch of fine dining chefs? Absolutely. Yes, exactly. I love the way you said that. That is actually, said. you got it on point. Yes. And for folks on the light side, I love the avocado for like lunch. It's like yes. a stuffed, oh, yeah, the stuffed avocado. avocados. Stuffed yeah. avocado. That one's delicious. So, so good. They use um, chicken thigh, which is something that's a, a little, little bit unique here. to our menu, yeah. but it's very like the flavor that you're able to get out of using the chicken thigh instead of mm -hmm. just like a chicken breast is like, it tastes like chicken salad is supposed to taste. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like chicken thighs better. Oh, I think it's sure. a better meat. Yeah, it, it is so good. I have definitely had that. And sitting outside on a beautiful day and having a light lunch, you mm -hmm. know, that's great. We like um, to graze. We like yeah. boards and taste and small plates As, and share. Uh, that is my speed as well. You know, yeah. we, 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 we love that. So, so if you were saying, I'm looking at this menu here, which is an incredible menu. Yes. What are some of your favorite things? Ooh, what would you say? I know it's kind of like picking really your favorite baby, question. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's like so hard. It's kind of like yeah, I mean, that one's my favorite child. It's it's a pretty bulletproof <laughs> so, menu, but if you if it just comes down to a matter of personal preference, mm -hmm. I mean, the cheese tort, I think. I didn't realize was going to be one that kind of rose to the top of that list for some of the appetizers we have, mm -hmm. but just the. The flavors going on there are really nice. It's like a whipped goat cheese with like a basil pesto and some know. compound tomatoes. You cannot tomatoes, go wrong with goat cheese. Homemade focaccia right. bread toast points to I'm going to have to try that. We've got to have really, that. Really nice. So I had the Maui Wowie lettuce wraps oh, last yeah. night. So good. Light. Oh, those spicy. Refreshing. It's refreshing. kind of like a. A, a great a springtime appetizer. Too. Yeah. yeah. For sure. It was awesome. And then, you know, you have some amazing soups, too, because oh, you yeah. had a tomato basil going on Yeah, last we have night. one rotating kind of seasonal soup that's mm -hmm. just, you know, whatever the chefs feel like doing at the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the menu all of the time, we have a, uh, a crawfish bisque that's a very straightforward, had it. It traditional is... crawfish bisque. And it's uh, like exactly what a crawfish bisque is supposed to be. Yes. So cool. Chef Elizabeth McKinley does a fabulous job, oh, but you have a huge absolutely. crew of people that really contribute oh, not yeah. only to the creation, but also the execution, which is so, I mean, it's your presentation is beautiful and well, the food you. is over the top. Yeah, it takes a lot of work and it would be impossible to do without such an awesome team. Yeah. Yeah. I think the main thing is that, wow, there is just such an extensive menu that there's really something for everybody. Definitely. I mean, you know, if you're looking for healthy, if you're looking to like like eat as much as you want, I mean, if uh, you want to share, yeah, that's what I we you know we love to do that Absolutely. and just kind of pass it around and everybody have a taste because you have so many good things. To not do that would be to rob someone of the experience of having something really delicious and different that they might not order. Maybe they don't want the whole thing, they're not sure they're going to yeah. like it, and they taste it. Definitely. And let's talk, for, we only have a minute left, okay. let's talk about, they have boozy milkshakes. Okay, oh, yeah. to finish off this dinner, talk about boozy milkshakes so and what's your favorite. beer milkshakes and boozy milkshakes. Um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna probably over time maybe develop some different flavors to work in there, but mm -hmm. for right now, I think the the Nola Nectar has been a really popular one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a nectar soda flavored rum based milkshake, 
and then for the beer side of things, there's one called Quiet Village that has this really interesting uh, kind of like fruit saison base, but it almost kind of comes out more like a uh, key lime pie-ish flavor milk. Okay, okay. and really then there's nice. the one that's a coffee one that really feels like oh, it's the, dessert. The Irish coffee. Oh yeah, I had with the, the Irish uh, coffee. The fireball last night. We shared whiskey. that last night. Oh, so yeah. good. It was so good. Four straws. Yeah. Share it from the table. Yeah. We did. It was amazing. And it was the perfect end saying. to the meal. Yeah. It really yes. was. And t talk that and about a piece of pie. I know. And that, <laughs> that and a piece of pie. Yes, we had that. So thank you so much Absolutely. for thank being for with us. Sure. Thank yeah. you. We really do appreciate everything that you're doing and the way you're pulling the team together and the way they just have such great morale. You know? That's what it's all about. Yes, it is. Well, we're going to be right back with Jeff Conaway's partner with City Group Hospitality. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the concept and how really City Group Hospitality has turned dining upside down and it's wonderful. We'll be right back for Rocket Right. Stay tuned. <laughs> At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. The use of opioids in addition to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana, and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regards to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kay Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That This is a place that's cutting edge. Rocket 
right now. I'm Dr. Kay Seller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes, and we're continuing our deep dive into dining at the Spoken Hub in Mid City. And we're really excited to be chatting with Jeff Conaway uh, in this segment, who's the vice president with. City, uh, City Group yeah. Hospitality, and this is their latest venture. But you had a long history into the dining scene here in, in Baton, Baton Rouge. Rouge. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, so tell us a little bit about that, Jeff. So moved here from Washington, D.C. right after Katrina okay. and uh, started working at Galatoire's and was the uh, general manager there for four or five years and then uh, came up with the bright idea to open up my own restaurant called Beau Soleil and did that for about 10 years. Uh, great experiences, like you said earlier. Um, yes. You know, you came in a bunch and we um, tried to be trendsetters in the Baton Rouge market. Uh, went with the farm to table theme, uh, craft cocktails and... Mm -hmm. uh, Always a great space. Thank Always you. Appreciate Always. it. We loved it and uh, great team there and uh, lots of years, lots of people, uh, phenomenal time. Lots and of celebrations. So many, even for my family. <laughs> uh, all the birthdays and uh, anything special that the kids were going through, my kids were always there to be a part of the restaurant too. Right, really which is a great space, mm -hmm. you know, great right, location. right in uh, Bocage, Old Goodwood area. Yeah. Uh, now uh, open as Beausoleil Coastal. It is. So, that was fun too. That was a fun remodel. And tell us about the concept for this restaurant where we're sitting right here at Spoken Hub. Tell us about that. So the. Brain, or the, 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 the idea process started probably seven or eight years ago, and it was actually with the chef uh, that I was working at, at uh, Beausoleil with, uh, Nathan Gresham. He and I got heavy into cycling and running and doing triathlons and marathons. And uh, we would go to this uh, bike store over next to Whole Foods called the Bike Crossing. And we always joked, you know, as we could cycle there, drink some beers, watch some old Tour de France uh, uh, reruns and uh, work on our bikes and maybe have a coffee too or something like that and then I kind of play on words said we'll call it the spoken hub you know and made a joke and um, from there you know just kind of sat idle for a while and then um, one afternoon Stephen and I were talking Stephen Hightower and uh, he asked me if I had any concept ideas and I mentioned that Spoken Hub was one of the ones that was kind of uh, in my wheelhouse and it would fit perfectly in this mid-city because they just put the bike lanes in. Yes. They've got the bike lanes on Capitol, they've got the bike lanes going each way, which is really cool. You can actually see, I don't know if y'all saw the map up front when you walk yes. in. There's a huge map of all the bike lanes and that came from BR Bike. They were actually gracious enough to share that with us. And so we blew it up and put all the restaurants in there so you can navigate your way through town to all the city group hospitality restaurants with that. That is I think a that's great, great idea. And this cool? is a great spot yeah. and you can probably see behind us that you know the bikes mm -hmm. and the you know the theme, you know, the decor in here is very all bike welcome. associated yep. to where yes. you know you could walk here, you could bike here. We've got a bike parking lot like out me. there. But <laughs> you can work on your bike out here. We're gonna have a bike work kit that's gonna be out there. Pull up, mount your bike up air your tires, tighten down any loose pieces, fix your chain, whatever it may be. Um, just lots of lots of interactive pieces on this. Uh, so it's this a wonderful day in the neighborhood no matter what day. It is. Because yes. I think people who live in this area, in this mid-city area, Capitol Heights, this whole area, they really truly want to have the neighborhood feel where they can right. walk by, yep. kids can play, yep. come have a casual cocktail, have a casual meal just share that time together and people don't want to always get dressed up although this is beautiful enough where you could get dressed up right and you could come enjoy it yep and that you way so yeah. you, can you can come in and show or you can stay out on one of the three patios that I we have i love that the, the, the three They're very, patios very comfortable you can be walking with your dog you can mm -hmm. bring your dog you can come sit outside enjoy the patio or the just the beautiful weather if you biked here right uh and sit outdoors yep. uh it's a lot of great spaces so tell me what are some of the unique things. I think that we're gonna have a couple of cocktails coming out Ooh. that y'all are known for. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I, I think we have the assistant GM coming here. Yes. Matt Rogers, thank you yes, so thank much. Yes, thank you, Matt. So, all right. Thank you. Lord, wow, that looks beautiful. Look at all this stuff Holy that Matt cow. has brought us. Okay. okay, come around and tell us what you got. 
Okay, so this is delicious yeah. looking. Every so one of them. Here in front of Jeff is going to be our 21 sages. 21 okay. sages. So yeah. Jeff, 21 sages. Do you what's know what's in, in that? that? Uh, Matt. That, that is our scotch based cocktail. So we have scotch, a little pineapple sage, a little citrus in there as well, and then a uh, really interesting black forest pear and apple brandy. Ooh. That so pear and amazing. apple brandy. So is I tell scotch. you, I want to switch drinks with you, you there, Chief, because okay. I almost right. ordered that last night. I'm going to say, because okay. Okay. I'm not a scotch drinker, but that, that pear brandy really enticed me and the sage. Yeah, so you actually and have so, a pineapple sage foam on top as well. I wanted to how, how really make try to pineapple, pineapple sage, sage foam, foam on top. Mm. How do you do that? Pineapple, they put it in one okay. of the um, foaming this cans is, with a uh, charger so that it like, you know, frosts up like a... Uh, is it um, as good as you hope? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I should have gotten this last night. I was just yeah. afraid because I wasn't a scotch oh, drinker. Oh, look at this. There you but go. But when I said... Yeah. Right out of this. Pineapple foam. Okay, I need his foam maker. I'm just saying. <laughs> One, my dog loves foam. I put it on my coffee in the morning. My foam maker is not as good as his. Nope. So I have a feeling your I foam might not taste as good as his. I'm thinking without not, the pineapple. You're gonna have I'm to like get behind either. the bar with but Matt Rogers and see what his secret this deal is. Is so good mm. for somebody who has never tasted scotch in her life, uh, and the peach brandy was enticing. This mm. is amazing. I Okay, I do. so now, now tell what, us about tell us yes. what is in Betsy's drink. She's gonna have to like you know probably reiterate this yeah, to so folks. This oh is my gonna goodness. be our mezcal cocktail, our Alta Mescalina, so kind of a smokier agave spirit, so similar to tequila. Oh okay. Here we kind of feature like a rotating seasonal fruits or just kind of fresh fruits. Today is gonna be oh, a amazing. fresh uh, blood orange juice, mm. mezcal, a little agave. Uh, lime and then topped off with the soda water, kind of extended. Okay. So if you're a margarita drinker, this is what I'd recommend. Okay. Mm. So if you like margaritas, yeah. go with, with that. And Betsy likes a mezcal. Yes. Uh, it's taste a good. This. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, beautiful. Mm -hmm. and so a you're gonna blood stay with yours. You don't want to switch as well. And she, she's gonna stay with that. She. <laughs> I think I'm gonna a, stay with this. She stay likes a large okay. drink. See, hers is taller than his. So I'm just saying. Well, and I like a little she's, fruity flavor also, but this is very different than a margarita. This does not taste like a margarita to me. This, the smokiness of it, and just, it, it's really delicious. Very refreshing. Yeah. Cool. Very good. what do you want after a big bike ride? Is a refreshing drink. That's it. Right. And you With can a make big hamburger. You can make these virgin drinks if somebody oh, wanted definitely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. But yeah, exactly. Betsy would never want that. I'm just saying. No. Which one? I mean, we probably have. Probably not. We've gotten plenty of requests for that before, so. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. So okay. if you if cool. you want to enjoy the flavors, but you don't necessarily want to have the alcohol, they can accommodate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep. Jeff, let's talk about yours. What's right. this beauty right here? So this is our rest stop fruit cup. So this fruit um, cup. Yeah, fruit cup. Mm -hmm. So think fruit cocktail. So pears, peaches, pineapples, maraschino cherries. That's what I infuse the vodka with. So whole Ooh. peaches, whole pineapples, bright red maraschino cherries gives it like this real bright, beautiful color, full of flavor. Um, just kind of. It, and you say so you take fruit, you pour vodka mm -hmm. on them individually. No, 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 so together. All together, let okay. it sit for about 24 hours, and then you end up with this really beautiful product. Do y'all so want to try? Do y'all want? I'm I've tried all these before. That so I wanna... tried that last night. Yeah, I think. and it was really awesome. I love the maraschino cherries, and I'm like, hey, Betsy, give me your maraschino cherry because so you see, you're you know, like this really pink vodka. Oh, so, so do you put the vodka with the fruit and shake it real hard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then let it sit for 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, really mm -hmm. That's Gets delicious. That's very refreshing. This has a little smokier flavor, a little a Betsy, little different. Betsy, you're taking over Jeff's drink. It's okay. No, he said he's I've had, had it. So look, I saved I've a straw for I've already had three you. of those I saved today. a straw for me. It's just as good as it was last night, I'm saying. You know, one <laughs> of the things that I think everyone does from Alan and Kelly in the Breaks Bar to Matt over here, what I really think is when you have the herbs and they're by your nose, you're drinking oh, yeah. that, no, plus all the fruit flavors, all your senses so, so, the whole so, time. so good. Yeah. It does, you know, it really does, but I, there's kind of a lift, kind of mm -hmm. an emotional lift That's it. that happens when you have a good food or yeah. cocktail mm -hmm. or just a good experience with friends. And one of the things that Alan said that I thought was really important to your entire concept, even though the Breaks Bar is a little different than mm -hmm. the dining area up here, 
Mm -hmm. He said, even if you've had one of these things before, listen to this song, had this particular type of cocktail, you've never had it like this because you didn't have it here between the service, the music, the flavors, right. and the passion really there that's put into making Love that. it that layered of an experience. So when you come here, you will not have an experience like anywhere else. We're not just saying that, we're living that. I'm telling you, yeah. this is incredible. So Spoken Hub, I, I gotta give it, out of a 10, 100. <laughs> 10 plus. Uh, and what a great place to support your local neighborhood. That's right. You know, and if you're in town visiting, heck, you need to like make sure you check it Look, out. The whole At world Spoke comes through Baton Rouge. And Hub yeah. On Government Street in Mid City. Uh, it's just a casual, great place with really upscale food and, and make sure certainly you, upscale drinks. Great drinks. Yes. Make great sure you music. tell them I saw it on Rock It Right. So remember, if you're going to rock it, make, make sure, sure you rock, rock it right. right. It's so can have. Hub. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we like having a good time here. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rock It Right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and Beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soleil. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little. Jeff Taylor, Realtor and Forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one. Thank you for making our show possible. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Agnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you.